Just uh, tell me about how you're feeling now and how you're being cared for. Not bad. Pleased to see you. Very pleased to see you. So t today's date is what? It's the it's the twenty seventh. It's the twenty seventh of April. Today is the twenty. Have you got your watch on you? Yeah, the twenty. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday the 27th of April. Yeah, do you have the time on your watch? Are you wearing your watch? Stan? Um, about that, yeah. What's the time? What's the time? Uh, tw 20 to 11. Okay, what's the square root of 49? What? S the square root of 49? 7. 7. What's the um, square root of 36? What? The square root of 36. What is the square root of 36? Um, wait a minute. What, six, six? Six. Six, yeah. Very Sorry. good. Okay, what year did World War II end? This year. What year did World War II, the Second World War, when did it end? Which year? Start. End. End. Yeah. 45. Correct. You see, the hospital asks you those, the hospital, Colchester Hospital asked you those questions when they were wearing masks oh. and they said you had advanced dementia because they wouldn't remove the earwax. This is after I told them your ears were blocked with wax. They asked you those questions, Dr. That's Vassal, the... and you couldn't hear what they said that's and you, you said yes please and, and no thank you and that sort of thing. You guessed what they were saying and so they, they gave you palliative discharge. You know, do you know what palliative discharge means, Dad? To discharge? Pal no, mean... no, palliative. Palliative. Do, do you know what the word palliative means? P-A-L-L-A-T-I-E. I can't think at the moment. It, well, it means discharge to die in hospice with no, no, no help at all. They were going to send right. you to, di to die. To, to die, yeah. yeah okay. The hospital were going to send you to die. What do you think about that? They no, maybe no. They yeah, they refused to treat your. Hem they refused to give you a blood transfusion for your hemoglobin. They refused to do anything for you. What do you think about? And they left you to die. And they lied about your heart condition. What do you think about that? So they don't think I've got a chance. Then. The hospital. The hospital lied about it. We checked the medical records. Your heart's fine. You had one stent in January two thousand and five, privately by Doctor Tang at the London Independent Hospital, and you didn't need it at all. Uh, and you're, you don't eat, he's Dr. Tang and Dr. Harkness, your cardiovascular, uh, the cardio, cardio, the, 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 the cardio um, uh, consultants say, you're not that ill at all, heart-wise. Do do, so the, the hospital lied and said, you've got acute heart failure. Oh dear. And they wouldn't treat you. Instead of, you know, you, you'd think if, if you had acute heart failure, they'd rush you in for surgery to have it sorted out. But no, no, they said they were going to send you to a hospice to die. Do you, do you really? Think, yeah, that's what they said. That's what, and they're pretending to be all nice to you in hospital, but they put the water out of reach of your good left arm every time I went in. What do you think about that, Dad? Shocked. You're shocked. Do you remember trying to reach water and not being able to get it? And not, do you remember that they put the call button on the floor so you couldn't reach it to call a nurse? Yeah. And that you, you, they put the water out of reach of your good left arm. Do you remember that? No. You don't. Well, I've got it all on film and I've got it all tape recorded. I can't hear very well anyway. Yeah. Okay. They put the water tray out of reach for most of the time you were in hospital of your good left arm. They put the water out of reach in the hospital. Yeah. You remember that? Do you understand what I'm saying or you're just saying lying got, to me? They got water out of the fridge from the hospital. No, I didn't, they didn't get water out. They put the water out of reach. Out of reach for you. Oh, yeah, to reach, yes. You agree that's true? Yeah. Why do you think they did that? Because they didn't want me to have it. Why do you think they didn't want you to have it? To make you dehydrated and confused? Yeah, I suppose to hasten my departure then. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Thank you, Dad. Well, do you think... Now, Mum has been abused by the hospital. Do you think we should go ahead and, and take legal action against hospital? We're talking criminal law. Not, I'm not talking about compensation at this stage anyway. You might need some later. But what? Criminal, criminal action. Involving me. 
involving me. I've been abused and mum's been abused. Mum, mum had to have a, her, her. No, I got to leave it to you. Thank you. My head's going round and round. Okay, that's fine, Dad. I can't cope. Okay. Do you have any message from Mum? What? Do you have a message from Mum? Well, I'd like to know what her problem is. Well, I, I, I don't want to worry you, but because Dr. Coomer last year diagnosed me, Mum, you know Mum had what I thought was skin cancer last year. Do you remember? Oh no, she had a skin cancer. Well, I, she, I had to take her to, to force her to go to Dr. Kuma at Highwood Surgery for uh, what seemed to be a skin cancer. Do you remember that last year? No. Well, I did. Okay. And um, Dr. Kuma said it was just a rash, not skin cancer. Do, do you remember that? No. Okay. But... Well, last week, I, she it got so bad, we, she had to see a specialist at the Oaks Hospital. He looked at the photos of her, of it, and he said it's skin cancer. Really? Yeah. So Doctor Skin Coom cancer. Yes. Yeah, so Doctor Kuma could have sorted it out last year. He didn't. So Mum is in a terrible state, and the, ho the hospital have been horrible to her when she tried to ask on the telephone about your condition. They talked over her. They wouldn't tell you her whether you'd even had an X-ray or not. They refused to give you any her any medical information. You know, she's a, she was a registered general nurse, 48 years, 1951 to, ni to 1999, working at a whole range of London hospitals, uh, intensive care course, at St. Peter's Hospital when she worked part-time as a ward manager on different wards every night. But all of that, and they were abusive to her. Do you think that this is something we should um, take immediate legal action on? I've read, she's already contacted the C uh, Pol Essex Police the Chief Constable, CID, and the CI, we're waiting for CID to get involved, but at the moment they're busy with a murder investigation in Clacton, but they're coming up as soon as possible to it. I'm just letting you, I don't want you, I know you're compass mentis, you're, I know that you are compass mentis, you're good in the head, so I just want, I, I don't want to worry you, because you've still got, but you're still anemic with low hemoglobin, I don't want to worry you, put stress in your heart, but you do need to know, because if possible, the police might want to take a witness statement from you and you have to tell the truth. Otherwise, it's other it's, pe other, it's otherwise, not can much I, I can tell yeah, them anyway. But, can I just say this, Dad? We're, we're, Mum and I are worried that other patients at Colchester Hospital might be murdered by, uh, uh, by, the, by Darcy Ward staff and other staff there. I phoned a matron. I was instructed by the um, 101 Pharmacy, uh, one, or 111 Pharmacy, to contact the matron of Colchester Hospital, and when I reported it to her, she hung up the phone on me and refused to do anything. What do you think about that? Mum was shocked. I've got it all tape recorded. I've got everything tape recorded. So said, what's happening now? Well, it's been passed to CID, the Uniform Branch, um, Christopher Rainsford, PC, said it's above his uh, authority, so he's passed it to... CID, the Criminal Investigation Department of Essex yeah, Police. Yeah. So the CID might, the plainclothesmen might come, they'll have warned cards to get a witness statement from you when you're a bit better, okay? They might come, so you just tell them all you know, tell them the truth, it, uh, if you can, as soon as you can. Uh, because if we don't get this stamped out now, they could do it to other patients at the hospital as well. Good God. Yeah, that's how serious it is. Do you have any message for the Essex Police uh, now? No, nothing. I'd rather not say anything at the moment. Yeah, OK, well, if you think about it and decide what, you know, if you can remember any problems you've had, to let them know about them, because they'll need to know in order to get this stamped out. The, what Mum's worried about is that if you need to go back into the hospital, they could finish you off to, to stop you giving evidence in, in the High Court in London. Richard Allport has got involved and tried, Richard Allport, you know, his father, John Allport, is a member of the MBE, member of the British Empire. He was at New, New Scotland Yard in London. You know, oh, Richard, yeah. Richard, his dad, John Allport, was in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Met Police. So he, he's helped me a lot in telling me which officers to contact and the email addresses in Essex Very Police. Very useful, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay.
Uh, yeah, just talk a bit about your, um, you know, um, okay, okay, well, anything you want to say at all to Mum? Any message for Mum? No, because I'm so shattered to hear all this. Yeah. I'm sorry to have to tell you, Dad, but I think... No, you need I'm to... glad you did. Good. All right. Oh, well, and we'll leave it here and we'll change the subject to something a bit nicer. Um, what did you oh have for... What did you, what did you, sorry, don't worry about it. What did you have for breakfast today? We're in a hell of a mess then. Yeah, we are. But, but, but I just want you to I'm know... I'm sorry for all you No, children, I'm not trying to worry you, Dad. It's just that they, the hospital lied that you had advanced dementia and then they changed it and said you had advanced heart disease. Well, what could I do? Well, uh, nothing. Just get yourself better. We, I've been trying to get permission to get a blood transfusion. Do you know what blood group you are? Do you know your blood group? Not offhand, no. Yeah. It's on my files. Okay, great. Well, we'll find out. Because I'm O, Rita, I am O, my blood group is O, Rita's positive. So if you're Rita's positive, I could give a blood transfusion to you, or my blood, and that would help your haemoglobin levels. Otherwise, you have to wait four months, which is the lifespan of red blood cells, before you can regenerate your red blood. So do you want me to call a nurse? No, 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 not, not, we all do it right, right now, Dad. I, 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 I like the fact you're, you're with it, and you're, your brain's going well, Dad. Your brain seems to be going well. I'm sorry to have to shock you about this. What did you have for breakfast today? Huh? What did you have for breakfast? W w warm porridge, my oh, usual. Oh, good. Very good. What, did, what are you having for lunch? Have you ordered... I don't know yet. The menu's not come round yet. Are they allowing you to have solid food now or just liquids? Oh, no. I'm back on solid food. Oh, very good. I had a bit of a row about that because there was no reason for the general hospital to put me on soft food just because I cough once or twice. Yes. Not when I was eating. Yes. But when I wasn't eating. Yes. And so they... They went to the extreme, and, that, well, it, it, and then they told the, the care home to, to be very careful that I choked, you see. Yeah, they were lying. But, but, but they've taken me off that yeah. now. You see, I, I, I can have anything on the menu. Very good, Dad, very good. Very good. OK, let's not talk about the, the, the attempt by Colts Hospital to murder you anymore. Let's move on and talk about... Um, uh, what what uh, how how soon do you think you'd like to get home and get exercise? I again? can't hear. Can you stand up now? I don't don't stand up. No. No. Yeah, because your hemoglobin. Don't try. I do the exercises. Yeah, oh, you do those exercises. Let's see what exercises you do. So so okay, the <coughs> personal exercise. <coughs> Anglin Community. Go oh, good. So was it Amber? Because she was the one who from uh, Anglin Community Enterprise. Was it Amber who came with these? Will this come from uh, from Anglin Community Enterprise? Was it Amber? Uh, provided by Patricia uh, Stoughton. Starting date se se uh, uh, se 2nd October 2017. For, uh, for someone else, so it's not even your exercise sheet. So you're only doing you're only doing leg exercises at the moment. They haven't really got you very far. Anyway, that's what you're doing. At least you're doing something to keep your your. At least you're keeping moving. Oh yes. The bar trip. This you see. This is a great nursing home uh, to get you better. Whereas the one they wanted would have been too far for me to to. Um, actually, have you have you read this about Did anemia? What? Did you read this about the anemia? But that's for you anyway. If you no, want that, to. That, I gave these for you. They're to dad. I gave them to you. I got them oh, for you. Oh. Look, to Dad, you see. Uh, well, I, I've read them, so I You've don't read them. them anymore. And you're 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 taking iron, are you? Huh? You are taking iron tablets for your anemia. I don't know. I don't know what well, I'm taking. You I should. Know. You should. Well, you should be. Um, I dropped some in for you when, when uh, last Saturday. I, I I dropped in a whole pack of iron tablets. Okay, so the nurse should be giving you iron. I see you've got some Ufit milkshakes over there. Oh, They're the ones I use to um, give you in the hospital. You know, these milkshakes. Do you like some? I've got a couple more of them, or two or three more of them. The Ufit milkshakes. No, no. I, I never have that. No. I, I find it very sickly. It is a bit, but... It, I don't I, like no, it. No, okay, okay. I'll just tell... Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
But if you, if, yeah, it, it, it's no sugar. There's no sugar. Six, six, but yeah, six. I know, but they're they're very thick milk. You, you, you can take it back. Is okay, it? okay, but it's good. Now you're on solid food. I don't That's want fine. It. But the reason I got them for you in hospital was to, because you weren't uh, uh, the, when you had finished it with the pneumonia and septus, you spent a week unconscious, basically. After that, they wouldn't give you any food or water. So I have to get. I had to give you those milkshakes, the U Fit 50 gram protein milkshakes for a whole week, one a day. Do you remember? Can you help them? Sorry, to... were you talking to me? Yes, I had to give you when you finished your when when your pneumonia. And I don't like it. No, but I had to give you. Is that the banana? Yeah, I banana. know. I know. I'm, you're not listening to me, Dad. Can you listen? I can't take it. No, I don't want you to. I don't want you to. I don't oh, want you to. No, no. All right, I'm trying to do that is to, to talk about the fact that well, when you were in hospital, I had to give those. I had to come in an hour a day and give them to you. Do you remember that? So feed them, feed, feed you milkshakes. Well, I, I got it filmed. Of, okay. And I got it taped. Right, I can't remember. Okay. I mean, no, don't worry about it. I was just seeing if you could remember that. That's fine. Oh, I see you had a card, a wonderful card from Jill and Paul. Isn't That's that a nice fun? card from Jill. Lovely, yeah. Jill and Paul, yeah. Very, very and nice. They're pra praising you for, for, for your kindness. Very nice. That's lo lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Big hugs. Uh, uh, lovely. That's, oh, that's that. they're, they're right. they, Jill and Paul and also um, right, Jer Jeremy and also... Um, no, oh, no. Don't worry, I'll sort this out. Could you, you put this? Yes. Are you finished two, with those other books? Okay. And take them away with you. Uh, have you finished with these? I finished with those. Okay. Uh, do you want me more. to get you any more books? To see the books you've been reading. Uh, no, no more books, Nigel. Okay. No more books. Okay. That's fine. Well, if you do need anything else, this, if you need anything else, I'm going to visit you every day. Well, just let me know. Do it. The wipes that were be used. Yeah, I've got them. wipes here. Uh, which wipes do you want? These type? Oh, lovely. I've got, I've got several packs of them. I'll, I'll put the uppers. Where should I put the uppers? I'll put the uppers yeah, over on the bedside table. Yeah. Sorry, I'm making a bit of a mess here. Okay, the wipes are there. Oh, lovely. That's nice. That's a nice, nice room there. Yeah. Oh, and, um... <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. So sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm just filming the, the way it's arranged. Lovely. You've got a lovely patio out there. So, in the hot summer, you can go outside. Yeah, I know. Lovely. Beautiful. I've been out, of, I've been out a few times, Nigel, yeah. in a wheelchair. Oh, that's lovely. So you, they're really looking can you after you. Put them you, in your bag. Your other oh, watch. Yeah, that, that's I my. You found my watch. Yeah, now. this is my watch. So I, I lend that to you. I also lent, you've also got my coat and my woolly hat. You've also got my coat and my woolly hat. Oh. Well, on Easter Saturday. Oh, well, take, take those with because, you. Because on Easter Saturday, you went into hypothermia. Do you remember? In hot, you went, you, someone left a window, the nurse left a window open. I checked on the tape recording. She left a window open and you went into hypothermia. They only put one really thin blanket on top of you. Then, it, then, then that Mark, Mark um, Smith tried to put oxygen on you and hot water bottles on your hands. It's the wrong thing to do. Basic first aid, you get your core temperature up. So I put, I put, I had to put. Sorry, I'm not understanding. Okay, I had to put my coat and my woolly hat on you, and walk home cold on Easter Saturday, because they wouldn't put enough blankets on you to get you warm. You were in hypothermia. Your, your hands were freezing cold. No, that was at the general. Hospital, yes. Though. Yeah, and Mark Smith claimed. <laughs> And I got it at the tape recorder. He claimed that you were actually, uh, your, your, it was heart failure, and it wasn't. It was this hypothermia caused by his negligence or deliberate, actually, his deliberate attack on you. I've got, I've got him tape recorded saying he was a previous cancer nurse and he wants to send everyone to a hospice who's old, about over 60, to, to die. Anyway, don't want to prejudice oh, anyone, but the, that's the fact. The, the razor's broken anyway. Okay, never mind. I, I, I'll, I'll get you a new razor. The other, the other bits there. Yeah, oh, the other bits are here. Yeah. I'll get that fixed for you. Um, 
Okay. Anything else? Um, yeah. At risk. So you have you haven't read this yet, have you? Huh? You haven't read. Have you read? I've seen You've that, seen that. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take all this stuff back. And. Um, Hello. So, hi. Hi.